something from from Nutter, and he's like, yeah, can you do shrimp and broccoli? And I was like, yeah, I got you. I didn't think anything of it, and then like I brought it back, and he was like, yeah, that's like that's a great teammate. And I was just like, dude, like, if I'm over there, I can do it for you. Yeah, he said you're the best teammate he's ever had. <laughs> I'm just, that's, that's what I try to do everywhere I go. I try to be that guy for everybody. So food is clearly the way to remain in the <laughs> It is. The dude eats all the time. And he loves uh, he loves Chinese food. So I'm trying my best to kind of cook that for him. So what's the difference between, you know, you played against some good people. Mm -hmm. But what's the difference of playing against this level of people every day? Uh, just, you have to be ready to go, like, every day. And we had practice on the weekends, and they're hard. You fight every for every minute of practice and I think for, for me I just was like I had to mentally prepare myself like a week in advance it's like listen like practice is going to be hard they're going to be long and, but like you've done this and I think that that's something that I, I've kind of carried over into what I've been doing and um, but just you have to be ready to go at all times and like you have to like even if you're on the sideline catching a break like you don't know what could happen the guy gets tired or something like that you gotta be ready to go in, and I think that that's something that I've been trying to do, and I've been trying to keep with the guys that have been with me on the sidelines, or guys that have been playing, like, be ready to go all this. Are there things that you could do previously that you cannot do here, just because of the... Honestly, just playing for a lot longer, like being, like, I'm in a lot better shape, and my body feels a lot better, and uh, moving laterally, um, and being able to guard guys that are smaller than me. Like, I'm not staying in front of anybody by any means yet, but <laughs> being able to stay with quicker guards and contest shots instead of just letting them go in for a layup or something like that. Because in, in July, they were blown by me. Now I'm able to kind of stay with them a little bit. And I, I'm continuing to work with that, uh, work on that with Rob and, and with KP and our coaches here. Offensively, what do you think you, you what do you think you bring to the minutes? Just being able to stretch the floor out, um, seeing stuff before it happens. I, I feel like as a, as a big man, I'm a pretty good passer. And I'm a really unselfish teammate. I'm never going to hunt my own shot. and. I'll catch it off of a pick and roll and I might have an open shot, but I'll see somebody in the corner on the wing and a guy, it's two on one, so it's like, he's got to play somebody. So I'll try to find the open guy for that and I think that that's something that I really bring. Kendall Perry said you lost 25 pounds, is that true? Where did the, I mean? Yeah, I did. Uh, I came in at like 260 pounds and I was really, really heavy and then uh, the other day we weighed in and I was like 234, so. I came in and, and dieted and worked out really, really hard and, and tried to change my body. Where had you put it on? Like, where was the extra weight? Where was that 25? Oh, it was sitting right in the middle of my stomach. Oh my <laughs> gosh, no. Uh, I, I got hurt at the end of Buck, my uh, season of Bucknell. I was coming off of a foot injury, the same one that PJ had, and so I couldn't really run. And I just, I had been lifting and lifting and lifting. I wasn't able to do any cardio, so it just kind of, I was eating the same way that I had been like trying to eat a high protein diet. And I just really put on a bunch of weight. And I was really disappointed in myself coming in because I'm like, I wanted to come in in good shape and be healthy and stuff like that. And I think coming in the way I did and trying to change my body uh, has kind of helped me and my focus uh, on the court. When you were at Bucknell, the people from your hometown of Newport in Pennsylvania, they were a lot closer. They'll be farther away here, but it sounds like they're really excited that you're down here at Kentucky. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I opened up my eligibility, and when I had committed, I think everybody exchanged their Bucknell flags and their Bucknell shirts for Kentucky <laughs> stuff. And I had people, I went and visited my parents uh, at work when I when I went home in May, and I had people asking me about tickets to Madison Square Garden. I had people asking me about tickets to, um, to like, Big Blue Madness and stuff like that, and I know that there's they're gonna take a charter bus to one of our games. There's like 60 people coming to one of our home games this year. So, I mean, 60 people from where I'm from is is a lot. So it's 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 really cool to see the the support there. I would imagine media day at Bucknell is a little bit different than media day here. <laughs> <laughs> What's the holiday life for you? Like? It's it's honestly it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. It's really humbling. I mean, I come from a really small area. I'm not used to having people up in up in your up in your face with stuff but it's it's not a bad thing i think it's it's something that if you want to play professionally you got to get used to and i think they really prepare you for that here and i mean at bucknell we had media day but it wasn't anything like this we had a couple of guys that we all knew we had known for four years and then um coming here it's just a whole different beast 